Hi guys, I am Neha and once again welcome back to my YouTube channel about technology. In our today's tutorial we will be discussing about black box testing. So guys, what is this black box testing? Well, it is a software testing technique that examines the functionality of the software without bothering about the software's internal structure. To know more about this, let's proceed with the video. As I said, the black box testing examines the overall functionality of the software. It doesn't get into how the software works internally. Here, the tester figure out all the possible input values that can fully examine the functionality of the software. Now, let us discuss how black box testing is performed. Initially, the tester has to identify all possible input values along with their desired output. Now, the tester has to test each input value and collect the generated output. Further, the tester has to compare desired output against the generated output. If the generated output matches the desired output, it means the software is accurate. Else, if a mismatch is found, it is declared as an error. The error is fixed and testing is performed again. The set of input value also contains set of invalid values that system must detect as an error. Well, after performing black box testing, the errors identified in the software are First, the tester identifies missing function in the software, also the functions that are implemented incorrectly. Second, errors that tester face while using the software's interface. Errors that occur while accessing the database. Error that occur while initiating or terminating any function. Errors in the performance or behavior of the software. Black box testing can be implemented in four ways. First, graph based testing method, equivalence partitioning, boundary value analysis, and fourth, orthogonal array testing. The graph based method is one where all the objects that has to be modeled are identified first. Next, the relationship between those objects are identified. As it is a graph based model, a graph is created that has nodes representing the objects and link between these nodes represent the relationship between the objects. Now, the tester figure out series of test cases that can fully examine all the objects and every possible relationship between them to uncover the errors. Equivalence partitioning. The range of input value that can check the functioning of the software can be too high. Checking out each possible input value might be a lengthy process. So, the tester divide the range of input values into groups and then test a representative from each group. Boundary value analysis. As the name suggests, the boundary value for each input domain is tested. Next is orthogonal array testing. It is used for the software that require minimum or limited input values for testing. As input domain are limited, we can test for all the input values from each input domain. As it checks all input values from each input domain, it is also referred as exhaustive testing. Now let us wind up with the advantages and disadvantages of black box testing. First the advantages. The tester does not need to have knowledge of programming languages. Testing is done from user's point of view, so it became easy for tester to identify missing functions and function errors. Tester do not have to worry about the control structure of the software. Now the disadvantages. Black box test does not uncover the errors of control structure. As representative value from each input domain are tested, it may be the case that some sensitive value are skipped or remain unchecked. As the tester with no knowledge of programming language are allowed to test, it may be the case that they skip some technical test cases while testing. So this is all about black box testing. For more details you can refer our official website binaryterms.com. I had provided URL for the same in the description below. Please like and share this video with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel about technology. Keep checking the channel for further updates and put your comment and queries in the section below. We will be back again soon with a new video. Till then take a good care of yourself.